on you, sorry. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yay. <sighs> we'll wait for a few folks to get here before we start answering some questions. Oh, there we go. Egg hunters? Hi, look, I did it. <laughs> oh, cool. All right, so we got some folks showing up. Um, we started filming in the end of August. Uh, uh, hello. Um, if you're watching me while you're in class, you're a brave soul. Um, uh, I'm not good at teasers because, uh, I don't know how to be subtle, so I'm gonna probably just stay clear of those kinds of questions. Uh, okay, so we can start. Um, yay, you missed the show. I know, and I know April's so far away, trust me, I know, but the cool thing is, um, is you have all spring and summer to watch Shadowhunters, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, I wish I could tell you I knew why it starts in April, but like, there are other people that do this for a living. I just I act on the show. I can't, I can't tell you. <laughs> um, yeah, I had a lot of fun on set today. Today was actually a really quick and easy day. Um, I can't really talk about what happened, but what I can say um, is that it was a lot of fun. You saw that I was with Alberto today, um, and he's always great to play with. Um, let's see. All right, I'm going to start answering some questions. So as many as you can send me. What character would you be other than your own? Hmm. Um, let's see. If I could be someone else, honestly, I would love to be, like, one of the Seelies, maybe? Like, because I think they're just so ethereal and, you know, the whole not being able to lie thing would be kind of fun. Uh, I think also... Uh, Shadowhunter would be pretty cool just because I do you guys know how much I love uh, fight scenes and stuff like that and I feel like they're always whipping out their stellies and their swords um, what's my favorite thing about being Maya I would definitely say one of my favorite things about being Maya is that she um, kind of says exactly what she's thinking and you always feel like you're getting a really genuine response from her like she's not sugarcoating anything but when she's being nice, it's just genuine. Um, so I guess I would say being a genuine person, it's it's nice. Um, you know, you guys are asking these questions, and I've been explicitly told I'm not allowed to talk about that stuff. So <laughs> that's so funny. Um, how's the relationship going with Simon? Hey, man, she's a she. Season two ended with her being really, really happy. And all we can really hope for is that the happiness continues. Am I right? Um, so what's the difference between Book Maya and Show Maya? Well, I mean, you got a pretty good taste of Maya in season two. And so I feel like you could probably... I would love to see what you guys think in terms of differences between Book Maya and, and TV Maya. But I think the situations are a little bit different. I think she's a little less hot-headed. Um on the show, maybe, than in the books. In the books, she seems to be a little more impulsive, and uh, uh, which is fun. Um, but I think in terms of the di dynamic of the show, um, maybe she's not so uh, impulsive, but then maybe she is, so. <laughs> um, uh, da, 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 da. Maya deserves to be happy, doesn't she? Uh, what crazy color would you dye your hair for one day? Um, I would love to go blue, but like that really icy blue that would just look so bad on me. Um, so maybe a darker blue, but like an ombre blue. Yeah. 
I am going to dye my hair for Halloween. Uh, I already know I'm going to be for Halloween. Uh, so there's a clue. <laughs> um, is the whole Jace hookup going to affect Simon and Maya's relationship? That's a great question. Um, I hope not. But you never know until these things play out. Do I have scenes with Emerald? Well, we got to have a scene together um, last season, which I thought was really fun. Emerald's the best. And um, I look forward to uh, the scenes that are coming in season three. Maybe they're with Emerald. Maybe they're with other shadow hunters. Yeah. Is there more to Clary and Jace? I never, I mean, it, when it's, when it's Clary and Jace, I'm not on set, so I can't, I can't tell you. You have to ask them. Do you want a season four of Shadowhunters? Yeah. I'll take a four and a five, a six, you know, as long as they want me. <laughs> Why not? It's a fun show. Um, how can you audition without an agent? Well, hey, you know. Everyone starts somewhere. If you're interested in being an actor, A, I applaud you for acknowledging that because I think that it's one of the hardest things to put yourself out there. And whereas in other careers, you apply for one job every other year, maybe, you know, or you, you go on a hunt and once you get a job, you have it. As an actor, you, <laughs> you, you apply for a job all the time. That literally is your job is applying for jobs. So um, I would say... The, the number one thing I would tell you to do is to try and act as much as you can, see if you can be a, involved in your community theater, um, even just taping yourself for uh, in roles that you want to see yourself as to keep you fresh and excited. Um, that's what I would recommend. Um, is there going to be more werewolf storylines uh, and scenes next season? Yes, I can say that 100%. They are so wonderful in expanding the werewolf world. Um, you will start to um, explore characters that you love and maybe meet new ones. Um, I'm, really, I'm really happy about the way season three is going. When is Maya going to be adopted by Malik? I know! I want to make that a thing! I keep saying, like, I love Magnus's apartment, cough, and I love Harry and Matt, cough, cough. Like, wouldn't it be so great if Maya got adopted by Magnus and Alec, you know? She's very clean and tidy. Um, she uh, makes great drinks, and we know how Magnus feels about his happy hour cocktails. Uh, I just feel like it would just, it would be the best situation, but, you know, it's fallen on deaf ears. I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, does Maya actually eat at the Jade Wolf? Yeah, she has no problems with the Jade Wolf. She probably eats off, she, I mean, obviously she eats off of other people's plates too, so she doesn't even care if it's her own food, she eats the food. Um, what's gonna happen with me and Simon? I mean, do you really want to know? I mean, I could just tell you. Uh, and then I'm getting a lot of trouble. <laughs> but where's the fun in that? Uh... The stuff does happen with them. Um, but I would say, you know, on the whole, maybe they might be one of the more normal couples in the in the world. Uh, one of the more typical couples. There's no such thing as a normal couple. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, they're just more mundane, maybe, than the others. Happy hour is every hour for Magnus. Caitlin, you know. Uh, what kind of music do I listen to? Uh, let's see. I've been really loving uh, Tyler, the Creator's new uh, album that came out this year. Um, Kendrick Lamar. I've been on a more hip-hop uh, journey the last few months. Um, there's this other guy that I love. Hold on. I'm going to pull it up now because I'm terrible with names. Let's see what I've been listening to. Uh, uh, Daniel Caesar, I've been enjoying that a lot. I always listen to Fantagram, or him, uh, Daniel Caesar's a person. 
um, Cardi B for all my Dominican girls out there. <laughs> I love Cardi B. Uh, okay. Can I, um, mm -mm. all right, let's see. What music does Maya listen to? That's a great question. Um, gosh, you know, of all the character stuff I've done, I don't know that I've really thought about what kind of music Maya listens to. You know, thank you for asking that because I'm going to think on that and I'll give you an answer on Twitter. If that's fair, uh, off the top of my list, I don't know that I would. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tweet at you guys Maya's top three songs. Um, deal, deal. Um, do you think Simon was hotter as a nerd or a vampire? I mean, both. I mean, nerdy vampire is pretty cool, but uh, let's see. Travel to the moon or walk a journey through the ocean? Walk through the ocean. I feel like that's challenging. Um, I scuba dive, so I would say I would take a journey in the ocean. What's your favorite alcoholic drink? Well, um, it depends on my mood, but usually uh, if it's a really nice place uh, that makes a good drink, my go-to drink's in Manhattan. Uh, and, uh, other than that, I drink rum because I'm Jamaican, so I'll just have some rum. Uh, let's see. What's a social issue that I care about? Um, I would say that, uh, two of the causes that have always been really important to me is, uh, equal opportunity education in the United States. And I know we have fans all over the world and it goes beyond just the US but something that I've been really passionate about throughout college and today is the disparity between education for inner city people or people from lower socioeconomic backgrounds to people who are in a higher tax bracket um, their schools are just very different so for years I've always volunteered in schools especially at a young age because I think preschool and elementary school is so important um, I think that's something that I really care about and also getting more women in the tech industry. So more women interested in math, computer science, things like that. Where in Jamaica am I from? I'm not from Jamaica. I was born and raised in South Florida. My mom's Jamaican and she's from Kingston. Um, <laughs> I can't answer those questions. I'm so sorry. Um, do me do, does Maya have the same personality as me? No, uh, definitely not. Uh, but I definitely see parts of myself in her and that's what I bring to her character. Uh, but definitely she does things that I, I would, I would never do. And, and that's what makes her unique. Happy 11th birthday, Indy. Um, turkey. Hello, and hi climbing trip or historical tour? Oof, that's tough. Um, probably historical tour. Hello? Who that? What's up? Oh, I have a friend! Huh. Have right, no idea. Slide on over. So I was shooting that so we're on Facebook Live. <laughs> um, I was just answering a question. Would you do a climbing trip or a historical tour? Climbing mean like mountain climbing? It, it was just, it was climbing, so. And it didn't tell you where the historical trip nope, was? Nope, it was, I know. Okay, I would do climbing trip <laughs> just because like you'd get stuck in a city that although maybe very interesting to some people, kind of pretty boring, but climbing seems like it could always. It could always be good. It could yeah, always be fun. Adventuresome. Um, is Shadowhunters going to be on Netflix? Yeah, you can always get it on Netflix. Um... I thought you were from Haiti. Okay, guys, here's the here's the thing. <laughs> my mom's Jamaican. My dad is Haitian. My dad's from Haiti, Port-au-Prince. My mom's from Jamaica, Kingston. And I'm from Miami. Very, very close to where this young man grew up. Actually, funny story, when Alicia and I were first, like, our, after, like, our first day on set, I was like, Alicia, give me your number so you can meet up with us later. We're all going <laughs> out. And she was like, okay, sure. And then she said her first three, like, digits, the area code. And I was like, whoa. Where are you from? <laughs> and she's like, 
you're from South Florida. I was like, damn straight. <laughs> and right away we found out we actually went to high schools that are like really close to each other. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, are you, are we parabatized in real life? No. I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we were both really quick to be like, no. no. <laughs> Oh, Berto's the cutest. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, actually, I kind of asked him to come by. I was like, if you're not busy, stop by and say what's up. And He's then, not like, trying to take it over. They asked me to go block the scene that I'm shooting after this. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then I went back to my trailer, and I'm like eating a sandwich, playing guitar, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I promised Alicia I would go. <laughs> so I like sprinted out of my trailer. I was like, Vince, where's Alicia's trailer? She's like, over there. And I'm like, all right. How do you know where my trailer is? I've never been here. It's fine. Uh, does my my father speaks French, Creole, and English? And I'm giving everyone a well, phone call. Cool. <laughs> the history of Alicia. Um. Wait, what is that? I can't. Uh, oh no. Oh, uh, uh, thank you. Yeah. Wait, wait, what? Okay, so we got we have time for two more questions, and we're gonna make this. Um. So I'm gonna wait until I get a. Not okay. Everyone always asks because I guess during season one, Dom was pranking a lot of people. But like, yeah, I think it's kind of like, it's kind of like so season one. No one well, really pranks anyone that, anymore. Just like season one, we were all on set like all the time. Right, right, right. right Whereas right. now there's like so many split up. Like I, I have, I have a couple of pranks. I, I'm not gonna say them because then you guys will like tell people and there's still surprises. So never mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, one more. Um, come on, come on, come on. Uh, <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> so it's like someone asks, like, are you looking forward? Do you want a season four? I'm like, yes. Yes. <laughs> Very much so, I do. Imagine if we were like, nah. <laughs> um, uh, guys, all right, you got to give us one great solid question. question. Yeah. Um, one that might not be an obvious answer. One that yeah. will, you think will make us go, huh? Um. I mean, I, would you go to Ireland? I, would, I mean, well, of course yeah, I would go to I, Ireland. I was, I was there over the summer. Ireland um, was amazing. Well, what? I think we were talking a little bit about what we might tr do over the summer. Do you want to talk about that? What would you? Yeah, where uh, Where would you travel this summer? Um, I know I'm going to Milan and Paris. And then, I don't know, I think I kind of really want to go back to Greece. Although they're really? like, yeah, Greece was amazing. I thought you kind of wanted to go to Southeast Asia. Or yeah, has yeah, that changed? but that's like very far. Mm -hmm. And depending if I do other things or whatever happens right, in the right, summer, right. I want to be kind of closer. But Southeast Asia would be cool. No, you know, I would stick with that. Yeah? Yeah, I would go to yeah. Southeast Asia. That'd be awesome. Oh, sorry. I'm like talking to him. <laughs> He's just like cutting down to my <laughs> guys uh i would say uh for me um i just recently finished watching master of none and i kind of just want to move to a small little italian village and learn to make pasta for yes. a month so i think i want to do that and have like another yell at you and be like no <laughs> exactly. that's not how you make them. and i want to get fat on pasta and just you know have the best time learn a pasta, little italian pasta fat is like the good fat it's the best fat it's the best fat pasta um Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I hope you... I know it's kind of all over the place, and I didn't really talk a lot about the show. Um, but I will tweet at you uh, Maya's top three playlist songs. I was so bad, I couldn't think of, like, Maya songs, like, that she oh, would wow. have on her. Like, do you... I mean... I had a few... I did Simon's Song of the Day a lot last year. and uh, Not last year, a lot first season, and second season, not so much. This season, I haven't really done it yet. Yeah, so I was like, I didn't want to just say something off the top of my no, head, no, I so think I think, yeah, it. I'm going to think about it, and I'm going to tweet at it. Um, or tweet Ooh. it. Well, there is one song that I would put on Simon's playlist. It's Mumford & Sons' new song, Unfinished Business. I haven't heard that. So okay. look, that's I'll what I'll tweet about it. I'll tweet about it today. <laughs> uh, thanks so much, and uh, tune in uh, next Tuesday, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for having me, guys. Bye! Nope. Hold on. <laughs>